Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently at Port Cecil. So I just got the rubbery man on board from the principals after playing chess, and I believe I'm supposed to take him to the Salt Lions. So I'm going to just go ahead and straight and head straight for the Salt Lions, dump them off, see what happens with that. Probably get a port report at Demo Island. And then probably, depending on how much fuel I have, head to Hunter's Keep and do the quest for my officer, the one using the empty mirror catch box and the clay man. And then finally head back to London. And dump off dump off all the uh, stuff that I have to drop off there. I've got the clay men, I have the very illegal vials of red honey. And I also have the strange box that I got from the Spider Island at Savior's Rocks. At uh, the Nativity. So, let's get going. I'll be a little bit conservative with my lights, although... If I'm going red, I'm definitely going to turn the lights on. But orange is fine. Alright, let's turn it on. Going into the fog is very bad for your fear. So let's try to skirt around it if we can. I think it raises the fear level by one, basically. So if I'm currently orange, it'll go up to red, I think. I'm really curious what the rubbery man is going to do here. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Here's the Schult Flyins. You've brought the Nacreous Outcast here. With luck, it knows why. Yeah, because I certainly don't. Moist wide eyes. Schultz Fantish what? It insists. Godshly? <laughs> what? It gestures at the face of the Northern Sphinx. It brandishes the cruet. You'll need Salt's attention to continue. You can gain it in Wither among other places. Oh. Crap. I need Salt's attention. Wither. Wither, wither, wither. Where is a wither? Oh, there it is. Hold on, isn't there something else you can do here? Um, I thought there was a thing, like a ritual. I wonder if that would get you at the attention of... of the god. Of salt. It doesn't seem to be here now, though. Hmm. Let's get a port report. Should I pick over the encampment? I think that has a chance of giving you fuel and supplies. Is there anywhere I'm going to stop where I want my day away at port? Demo Island. I don't really need it there. Yeah, let's go ahead and use it here. Ah, didn't find anything. Just gained one fragment. Okay, so I suppose I should add a thing to my list here. Need... I know you can't see it, but... Uh, need Salt's attention for the Salt Lions. Can get attention at Wither. There we go. 
Whoops. No, 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 no. Man, I probably have like 20 port reports at this point. It's pretty obscene. Fear's doing okay. It's at 50, not too bad. Actually, since it's going to be above 50, I might as well just turn my lights off. Because it's going to re get reset to 50 when I get to London anyway. Alright, I'm not going to use my Something Waits Me in port here because I want to, I want to save it for London. Just get a port report. Can I make it back to London with the amount of fuel that I have? With my lights off? Given that I came from here and went here and used up like three to four fuel, I should be fine. I don't want to push it though, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy one. Yeah, and let's go hit up Hunter's Keep. I want to go there before London. Let's also destroy this little boat. And you're dead. Bolt of spider silk, cool. And now my terror is... Whoa, what the hell happened to my terror? I didn't just lose 15 terror from killing that one ship, did I? It was above 50, now it's 34. Huh. I guess I'll leave my lights on, because now it's actually not going to get reset at London. Because it's not above 50. Alright. Yeah, we have enough fuel to go hit up Hunter's Keep first. Just to be sure of that, I guess I will actually turn off my lights. Just to be sure. There's a lot of light around here anyway. I'm really scared to go back to London because of the illegal goods that I have. The red honey. Okay. Oh, wow, I need more supplies to do this. And one Foxfire Candle. Okay, so I can't quite do this yet. That's going to take a lot of supplies. Okay. Alright, so one candle and a bunch of supplies. Okay. I'm going to boink it. Oh no, I couldn't turn fast enough to boink. I'll boink this one. Boink. Okay, if they decide to search my ship, I'm fucked. So... I'm just going to pray, pray to the salt gods, please don't search my ship. Okay, it looks like nobody wanted to search my ship. I don't know if collecting messages from the Harbor Master has a chance of triggering that event or what. I don't remember how it happens, like whether they search your ship is the first thing that happens when you dock. 
or if you can like gain their attention by doing stuff, I don't know, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just going to dump the vials off right now before anything else. Or, wait, can I? Oh, I can't, can I? No, I have to do this, okay. And we're good. Okay, we're good. Right. I have something for you. Whoa, I can betray her. I'll pay you a thousand echoes for it right now. Just tell the Lady of the Cages you lost the shipment at sea. No, 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 no. I want this to be a... I want a relationship between me and the, the Lady of the Cages, Zera. A lucrative relationship. If I betray her, she's not going to give me any more shipments. Ever. Alright. Hand it over then. But quietly. No need to attract any unwanted attention. Middlemen. The venturer hands you a black medallion. Tell the lady I'll send the usual payment. By the expected channels. Mostly urchins, this time. He adds. The admiralty's cracking down. Alright, my patroni patronage quality is now three. And I have the medallion. So I'm assuming she's going to pay me when I return to her. After I've confirmed the shipment, I guess. Okay. Um, so I don't want to deliver the clay men yet, because I need one of them for the thing I'm going to do at Hunter's Keep. However... Mm, I can't turn in the trinket, of course. Yeah, a little bit of money, 100. There you go. How much room do I have? Uh, let's sell the crap that I have. The Oh, I never used my sack of dark drop coffee beans. Man, I've got a bunch of stuff. Let's sell some of the crap. So, Sintelac... I, I can't afford to keep it. I My hold space is so limited. I don't have any specific use for it at the moment, do I? Let me just check my list of stuff. Do, do, do. No, I don't see anything in there. Alright, I'm going to sell it. I guess I'll keep the sack. I'll keep it for now. Because it is actually pretty useful. Not just at Aram, but I think other places too. Sell the bolts of spider silk. There's 100 echo. Let's get some fuel just by turning in port reports. How many do I have? Let's see. Oh my god. Just go from the top to the bottom. Let's see how much money I get from this. So I've got 1600. Yeah, some of these places, uh, some of these port reports for places pretty far away. Pay pretty well. 50 Echo. Places close by typically pay like 10 or 20. Alright, how's my hold? Plenty of room. It's 22. Yeah, I, could, I, I could just check up here, actually. 22 out of 40. Yeah, plenty of room. Just gonna keep going. 50 Echo. Nice, nice, nice. Twenty-seven out of forty. Okay, I can just do them all. Okay, so from sixteen hundred to twenty-one hundred. Wow, so that was like that was like five hundred echo. That really does add up. Of course, if you think about all the supplies and fuel that I bought just to do all that stuff, it's probably a wash. Maybe I gained a little bit. But, yeah, if you journey around and get a lot of port reports, it really can, for the most part, just, like, subsidize your whole journey. Okay, I have plenty of fuel for the moment. Let's go ahead and buy the supplies that I need. And the candle, so I need one candle. I need five supplies, obviously I want supplies left over. I'll just get up to max, that's fine. 
I believe that's all I need. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's it. So let's see if there's anything else we can do. Who wants romantic stuff? Reporting paper. Oh. Oh, <laughs> now I gain supplies. Shit, I didn't think about that. Well, supplies are worth more than uh, fuel, so I guess I'll dump one fuel. Kaplunk. Purchase an elegant townhouse for a thousand. That sounds lovely, but no thanks. Do I have anything big to give you? A bunch of small stuff. Anything big? No. No searing enigmas or anything of the sort. I think that's it. I don't have any vital intelligence for you, right? Nope. I think that's pretty much it. I think the only other thing I want to do is probably go see my lover. I'm assuming... Will this... Will this have me visit my lover again? I guess. Let's do it. I was fortunate. Lost five terror. Sea shanties, fine food, warmth of a pub fire, something more. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so I can... Looks like I can continue the relationship. The likely lass. Don't think I came down to the docks just to see you. I've got business here, but... Alright, it, it did cross my mind that you might drop by. A few hours together. Shared warmth. New memories. It's harder to say goodbye this time. Lost ten tear. Wow, that is really good. It's harder to say goodbye this time. I wonder if this is going to lead to something really bad. Or like if I ever even dare to leave London and leave her, I, I feel heartsick or something and my, my tear increases faster or something of the sort. Love can be dangerous. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Let's excavate the cellar. Right, the mechanic says. That's uh, a problem. The pool we need is down there. He points to the ruins. I'm afraid we'll need to do some digging. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to be laboring. Which is why we need the candle and the supplies and I guess the clay man because they're, they're basically laborers. Which means I don't think the clay man is actually going to die or be used up because he's just working, right? He's not going to die. Unless we excavate something very bad and it jumps out and kills him. Beneath Hunter's Keep. It takes a full day to clear away sufficient ruins to reach the cellars. In the deepest subcellar, your candles illuminate a litter of tumbled stones, the remnants of a temple. The signs on the stones have a Kaganian look. A pool at the cellar center is almost dry. The remaining water there seeds oddly in the candlelight, as if it were near boiling, but it's quite cool to the touch. The writhing river flows near here, the mechanic remarks, one of the tributaries of dream. My enemies find me when I sleep, but this water will attract my enemies to this poor fellow. He bends to dip his hand in the water and sketches a sign on the clay man's forehead. The man watches him stolidly. The mechanic hands him the Meerkatch box. Hold this, he says. Keep it open. Don't let go, no matter what happens. The clay man's huge hands enfold the box. Oh, never mind, we're gonna lose the clay man. I would say you asshole for doing this, but I don't know if... Do, do the clay men even feel pain? 
I don't think they're capable of expressing pain, but do they feel pain? I don't know. Are they even really alive? I really don't know. There, the mechanic says, turning to you. A serpent trap. Now I can sleep. I can finally sleep. He smiles. And then, I think I may be able to offer you something rather interesting. Yep, I lost him. Lost a clay man. I now have a serpent trap. This clay man looks confused as it grasps the mirror-catch box in its great gray hands. It would look a lot more confused if it knew what to expect. Look in the ruins, I don't think it does anything. Nah. Okay. Let's go ahead and speak to you. Wait, did I replace you? Oh yeah, I did replace you, so you're actually in here. Oh! There's the Nacreous Outcast. <laughs> what? I didn't know he was an officer. I never thought to look in there. I was looking in the hold before. In the cargo, in the journal. He's a freaking officer. Look at him. And he's a cook. Its brothers and sisters have abandoned it. Pearly light drips from its mantle crest. The principals have touched it and not gently... Oh, I read that before. Okay. Um, how do you compare to my current cook? My current cook is very, very good. Hearts plus four. Hearts plus six. Pages plus two. Pages plus three. Okay, so it looks like I give up. He's got two less hearts and one less page, but he gains two more mirrors. Nah, I think I like this cook more. Yeah. Alright, well, I, I guess I should speak to him. But uh, before that, let's speak to you and see what's going on. Alright, let's allow the mechanic to enjoy his sleep. It might be messy, he warns you. Could you have a couple of strong sailors standing by? Tell them to snap the box shut when the trouble begins. He holds up a bottle of laudanum. I will be sleeping deeply. Welp, sounds like I might lose the three sailors. Maybe. A certain amount of excitement. When nothing seems to be happening, you take to your own bunk. But a roar from the clay man brings you sprinting back to the mechanic's cabin. You fling open the door. The man's eyes seethe with viric flame. It's struggling against the efforts of the Zaylers to restrain it. As you rush to assist, it flings one Zaylor off, but the other manages to snap the box closed. Instantly, the man goes still, a lifeless clay statue. The viric glow now pulsates from the box. In the bunk, the mechanic sleeps, his face wreathed in dreamy smiles. He will sleep so until morning. That's how you get the mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. <laughs> and hold on, what? Let's take a look, where is that? Because I know that showed up somewhere here, dream, dream, snake, did I not put the full name in? I know I've seen it before. There we go. Oh, I shortened the name to angry snakes instead of dream snakes. And that's the only place it has it, right? Yep. Alright, so it sells for 500 at Khan's Shadow. Whoops. Let me undo that. No, what? Undo. There we go. I messed it up. It's fine. Do do do. There we go. You've learned that the mechanics stole a secret from the dreams of the stone pigs. What the hell are the stone pigs? Never heard of them. Okay. Ask the mechanic to explain exactly what the hell is going on. Yes, I think that would be a good idea. Well, it's like this. I stole a secret from the Echo Bazaar. With the help of the Finger Kings. You know, the, the serpents who rule Dream. Then I reneged on the Finger Kings. Don't look at me like that. Would you rather I'd given them the secret? 
I don't even know who these people are, but they don't sound like people you want to mess with. There's a bunch of things here. Fulgent Impeller. The Unsettling Sage. <laughs> Alright. Pigs of Stone. I talk about engines all the time. I'm sure you've noticed. And I dream about them. I found myself dreaming of the stone pigs. They're... Oh, I don't entirely understand still. But they're how the bazaar travels between stars. Did you know they did that? And they sleep, so the Finger Kings can crack their dreams open. So the Finger Kings recruited me. I found a secret in those dreams. An engine like the Z's never seen. Oh, Captain. Captain, let me build it for you. You won't be sorry. But there are some things I'll need. I know, I know. Isn't it always the way? So he can make the equivalent the equivalent of the Memento More, but for my engine. That sounds incredible. I would very much like that. Yeah, what do we do to make this happen? What do I do to make this happen? Do I have to make another serpent trap? He didn't actually give me a quest, did he? Yeah, you've learned that the mechanic stole a secret from the dreams of the stone pigs. He's grateful for the company. Hmm. So that's it so far. Maybe I need to do this whole thing again if I want him to talk more. I don't know, because he didn't actually give me a quest. And there's nothing actually here I can do, other than allow him to enjoy his sleep again. Can I even do that again here? I can. Hmm, I would need another box, though. Which, if I wanted to get it, it's all the way back at Khan's Shadow. That's pretty far away. I think I'll have to do, th do that again as part of another, you know, kind of big run around the place. Not just yet. So, let's speak to my rather noodly friend here. Oh my god, I love that art. It drips eagerly. Perhaps if it comes to your cabin, you should put down some sort of matting. <laughs> um. Oh my god. You can have a romantic relationship with the Nacreous survivor? It bends its face. You've known it long enough to understand that this is an affectionate smile. Are you sure about this? I need Sintelec. Seven Sintelec. That is amazing. I would love to see that one day. <laughs> Cheat on a woman back at London with the Nacria survivor, the rubbery man. Anyway, okay, so to dine with you, what do I need? Strange catch. A lot of people need a strange catch to dine with them. I think even... Even she needs it, right? Yeah. And where can I get strange catches again? So I can buy it at Aram. That's probably the best place to get it. I filled, empty mirror catch box. Oh, that's actually the only place I have marked down to buy it or sell it. So it's very cheap at Aram, but Aram is very far away. Alright, let's head back to London and dump off the remaining clay men and hope to god that the person I'm dumping them off to, or whatever I'm doing with them, hopefully I can still actually complete the quest and maybe they just don't pay me as much. I'm hoping they pay me per clay man, not, like, for the whole shipment. Because otherwise I'm kind of stuck with him. And then I don't know what the hell I'd do with him. You gonna teleport? Please teleport, ship. Come on, teleport for me! Ah. Performance anxiety.
deliver the claim in. Okay, so it still works. Yeah, so it looks like it's no problem. I believe I had five, right? I mean, I, I think I originally had six, and I used up one. And it paid me a hundred, so I'm guessing it's twenty echo per clay man. Alright, so that's fine. Nobody complained. I kind of feel bad for that one clay man that I totally screwed over. Poor guy. Or thing. Entity. Whatever it is. Again, I don't know if they're really technically alive, whether they really feel... I don't know. I get the feeling that perhaps they're made through some sort of a ritual where souls... I mean, souls are everywhere, right? I mean, you can even buy crates full of souls. And I've heard of... from the Brisk campaigner, she talked about how her soul is burning from the Elder Continent or something. So souls are a thing that are kind of going all over the place. Just <laughs> Souls are just floating in the wind like pollen. So I get the feeling that the clay men are perhaps made by some sort of a ritual where perhaps a soul is kind of tied or linked, imbued in clay or stone. So perhaps they feel, but they can't express it. I don't know. So as far as I know, there's nothing I can do with this mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes, except sell it. And it does sell for 500 to Con Shadow, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, oh yes, I need to take her to Venderbite. Let's go do that, shall we? I forgot about her. You know, I have, I've had a quest for Venderbite for a very long time. The one that... Where the... I don't remember his name, but the guy wants me to... Get a bunch of colors. And there's a bunch of hints as to... Like, what item actually constitutes the color. I should still have them here. Somewhere. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's, it's in here, isn't it? Yeah, these things. say. It's not worth anything. So each one gives a hint as to what actually constitutes that color. The blue of memory and brightest coral. That might be Scintillac. The color of remembered suns. Perhaps a meerkatch box of some sort? But it mentioned this fungus. What remains when all other colors are eaten? Gant can be found where shadows are myriad. I'm not sure what that would be. Forgotten corners of home. Yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of hints there. I'm sure I've had the items to do some of those things multiple times and just sold them. So I kind of ignored that quest. Oh, hello. You gonna teleport? You know you want to. <sighs> not today. What is it even doing? Like, what is it accomplishing? It's just kind of going in circles and behaving very strangely. Man, I really need supplies. Because I used up five of them at Hunter's Keep. Okay, this should be it. Yes. Tell the Shady Sword the truth or reassure the Shady Sword. Hmm? Oh, right. I guess the people that come here are perhaps marked. Hmm. 
I'm going to tell her the truth. Tell her that no one enters Venderbite as a colonist, unless they pass the skin check. Tell her that he is much changed, and for the worse. Oh, I, okay, so I guess she's not marked or anything like that, it's just... Yeah, something else. She says nothing. Her face grows paler and paler as you speak. Now she looks like nothing so much as a wax figure. She walks jerkily down the gangplank to meet her friend. He pays you. She says nothing. Yeah, they're reunited. And he's kind of changed a bit. And 400 Echo, that's very nice. Wonderful. Okay. Anything else to do? Today's special, 60 Echo. No thanks. Oh, this is usually a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a dusty glass of wine, and will also reduce hunger. Don't really need to do either. My hunger is already at f only 8. Get a port report. Oh yeah, I never did this quest. This is the one that takes a ton of supplies. Replaces 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists. Now, I've explored so much of, well, the entire Untrazy that I'm, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable that I would probably have already explored the places I need to take them. So that wouldn't be too hard. But this would have to be the only thing that I'm doing at the time, because with 12 tomb, tomb colonists in my hold, I would just have enough room for them, plus fuel and supplies. I don't really want to do that. Because then I'm, my hands are kind of tied. Because I have to do that, or I can't really hold anything else in my hold. And that kind of sucks. You sell supplies? You do. They're kind of expensive. Hmm. So, I mean, I am really, really close to Wither, and it did say I need to go there anyway, just to... get Salt's attention to do the quest back at the Salt Lions with the Nacreous Fellow, so... Let's, uh... I guess explore here. Lost one tear. Do I need to buy supplies? Not just yet. I'm just gonna come straight down. After I go up to Wither. And I might be able to kill some bats along the way to get some more supplies, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Oh, hello. One supply. So I'm actually somewhat in a dark region where I haven't explored, so I'm actually going to throw on my Z-Bat and see if there's a place out here. I don't think so. Whoa. How many hit points do you have? 400? Yeah, I'm not going to fight you. Turn off my lights. I don't, I don't know if it's actually chasing me. I don't think it is, but... Okay. okay. Choose a direction, please. We're good. Yeah, we're good. There's another one up there. Alright, so I need Salt's attention. 
How do I do that? Wasn't there something at the House of Questions where I could, like, spit on the floor and just desecrate the place? Defy the gods, that's right. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. So, it looks like I can do it. Oh, wow, I have 12 secrets. I need to spend them. It's cheap. So I can do this. I just need a Z-Story, and I think I can actually buy a Z-Story. Because I think this place allows you to, like, trade. Stories for money and money for stories and stuff. So, let's check. Oh, no? I guess not. Hmm. Anatomical cabinet. Auxiliary. Death laid out for your careful inspection. Iron plus seven. <laughs> that actually sounds really good. Oh, but you can only sell it. You can't buy it. Huh. But that means it must exist somewhere. And I don't think I have these things in my spreadsheet. Although they are all bought with weird stuff. I don't think I'm ever actually going to come here and spend Tales of Terror to buy stuff, so I'm not going to bother to put it down. Nah, I need a Z-Story. Shit, I could have gotten that back at London. Hmm. That's not good. I don't know, maybe I can get a story. Let's take some shore leave and see if I can get a Z-Story. Lost five there. Keep a low profile. Your crew follow your example faithfully. One drinks a little too much pale withern beer and has to be fished from the harbor. But they spend a relatively decorous night gambling for salt and bone and return refreshed. Okay, that didn't work. Port report. Explore? I suppose. Hmm? What is this? Oh, I thought I was burning in the fiery pits of hell. Never mind, it's just somebody grilling something. Oh, right, I did this before. Do I want to try the troglodyte prawns? Hmm. Try the shredded jelly. Jellyfish. 50% chance. 25% chance. Let's take a little bit of a chance. What could go wrong? Did I succeed? I did. Jellyfish. The food of queens. Traces of its venom still remain. Just enough to make your tongue tingle and alter your consciousness a touch. Your pulse accelerates, and odd thoughts sparkle in the forefront of your mind. Gained a little bit of fragments, lost to a tear. Okay. I still don't have a Z story, though. Yeah. Alright. Well, I mean... I could sell, but... Unless I'm reading this wrong, doesn't this mean I can... S isn't this saying I can sell fuel and gain zero Z-stories? In other words, they won't give me a Z-story? Like, am I misunderstanding that, or is that what it means? It looks like that's what it says. I suppose I can try it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just gave it away for free. Okay. So that does mean what I think it means. Okay, well, the nearest place where I can get a Z-Story that I know of reliably would be right here. If I give them recent news, they give me a Z-Story. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just head back to London and regroup. Boink.
Think I'll save my something awaits me in port for London. Because I don't think I would regain it coming from Venderbite to London. Actually, you know what? I probably would. Oh well. I don't feel like stopping. some supplies. Let's go get that Z story right now. Because I can use up my recent news and then go get more recent news when I get back to London. There we go. To search me. Thank God they want to search me now and not before. Yeah, come take a look. Zero suspicion. All right, let's read the papers. Recent news. Uh, got a couple port reports, one or two. Go meet my lover if I can. I was fortunate, so I believe I'm going to meet her. Mm hmm. Looks like, looks like it's the same event as before. Uh huh. Shared warmth, new memories, lost five tear. I'm guessing something is going to happen with the relationship. It's, it's got to turn into something more than just that. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there, so... I've delivered all my stuff. Vials of red honey, the clay men, done the hunter's keep thing. I guess the very next thing I do, I suppose, now that I have the Z story, I suppose I'm just going to go up to Wither, get Salt's attention, and, and then head back to the Salt Lines and see what happens with that quest. Yeah, that sounds good to me. There really is a lot I can do. I mean, there's that. I can go back to the Isle of Cats and do some more trading in Red Honey. I Really, I could go pretty much anywhere and do pretty much anything. Got a decent amount of money. 2300 so, you know, I've got some money to throw around and make some quest events happen. I'd like to hit up Aram so I can buy some strange catches, because I need that to speak with two of my officers. Which will allow me to do more officer quests. Heck, I even have enough money now that I could actually buy 
I could actually buy the live specimens. Because I need two of them for one of my officers. Which one? You? I believe it's him. It, it doesn't actually explicitly say what I need, but yeah. The Chapel of Lights. I believe I needed two live specimens to continue that. So that's a thousand echo worth of live specimens, because they're 500 each. So there's a bunch of things I can do. But yeah, next episode, I'm just going to go to Wither, get Salt's attention, and then go to the Salt Lions, and we'll see what happens from there. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.